Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. In my last session, I talked about uh, the path traced by gravity-controlled undamped gyro, that is an ellipse of duration 84 and a half minutes. And I had also told you this duration of 84 and a half minute is for a purpose and that is called Schuller tuning. Schuller tuning means making error number three, which I'm going to talk about, and error number four equal and similar. This is to avoid undue uh, oscillation of the axle. Now to make uh, Schuller tuning, we make the period of gravity control undamped gyro as 84 and a half minutes. Actually, 84 and a half minutes is the period of oscillation of a pendulum, imaginary pendulum, whose length is equal to radius of Earth. Uh, we will see that a little later. So damping is the third stage in a formation of a gyroscope, formation of a marine gyro. And uh, we will start in the same fashion. We will start the way we started the axle of uh, uh, undamped gravity control gyro. And we will see what is the difference and what is the similarity in the two traces. What we will consider in this particular session is the gyro that is damped in tilt. Suppose this is meridian. This is x-axis that is the horizontal and we would We would place the axle at this point. This point indicates the north direction and horizontal. This is the horizontal axis, drift axis. This is the tilt axis and also observers meridian. In my last lecture, we had talked about this axis. This is the major axis of the ellipse. This level also indicates uh, the amount of tilt indicated here at which the control precision becomes equal to the drifting. Control precision which is dependent on the tilt as I said, control precision is directly proportional to the tilt. So we had drawn the ellipse right, and I had said that at this level the control precision becomes equal to the drifting and that is why this point decides the maximum easterly uh, point and this point represents the maximum westerly point. At these two points the east-west forces become equal. Now what we will do is we will keep this diagram in the background just to understand what is the difference in the diagram of ellipse and the spiral. We will keep this diagram just as a reference in the background. We will use its major axis which represents the level at which the control precision becomes equal to the rate of drifting. What I would say is this is the point that is north direction and horizontal at which we had started undamped gravity controlled gyro axle and that axle had traced this path called ellipse of 84 and a half minutes duration. I have said this many times before. From the same point, I will start the journey of this gyro that is damped and tilt and also gravity controlled. The only force that is applicable at this point is the drift force. Drifting, as I told you before, is constant for a given latitude. This drifting force drives the axle out of meridian and as soon as the axle is out of meridian, what happens is it creates an azimuth. Azimuth is the angular distance from this vertical line on this side or this side. Now, as soon as you have the azimuth, uh, the axle acquires rate of tilting. Rate of tilting takes the axle upwards, right? And because of that, the axle gets tilted. And because the axle is tilted, uh, what is created is uh, control precision. Control precision is dependent on the tilt I told you before. But now a new thing that would happen in this which did not happen in the previous trace is control precision that is created in one particular gyro for example 1 40th of this control precision that is 
damping precision is created that damping precision is directed towards the horizontal that means if the axle is above the horizontal the damping precision will be directed downwards and if the axle goes below the horizontal damping precision will act upwards so uh, what is happening is the moment the axle is out and it acquires some tilt because of tilting it reaches a point I will represent a point slightly outside the previous ellipse and I would indicate the rate of drifting in this direction right then you have tilting and because of tilt you have control precision and proportion to control precision a very small amount of control precision acts downwards and that is damping precision but the thing is this point I have shown slightly outside the ellipse and the reason for that reason for that is this damping precision is uh, working against the uh, rate of tilting which was not there in the trace of ellipse however once the journey starts it will have to reach equilibrium once again at the same point this is the level at which the east-west forces become equal and therefore the rate of drifting will become equal to control precision this is also the point of maximum rate of tilting and compared and relevant to the control precision uh, proportional to control precision you have downward acting damping precision now I had also told you that above this level the control precision grows it becomes more and more uh, better and better compared to drifting drifting remains constant throughout the uh, trace we will consider this point probably uh, this point we will consider now at this point what happens is the rate of drifting is constant eastward control precision is more than the drifting tilting is there and then damping is there very soon it is going to reach a point over here probably at which the rate of tilting is seen equal to damping precision drifting as usual is constant and CP I can say is the maximum CP is maximum we have reached a point at which the vertical forces have become equal and because vertical forces have become equal this is the maximum northward journey the peak will be seen at this point now it is wrong to draw the peak on the meridian uh, many candidates might make that mistake don't make that mistake peak will be outside the meridian because the vertical forces will become only equal outside the meridian now what happens is from here the downward journey starts and we're going to have peak once again east west peak once again at the same level where the drifting is equal to control precision on this side the tilting is also downwards and damping precision is also downward so swiftly the axle will come down right this downward journey from here will probably reach this point what I suggest the students is they can draw a line something like this all the north south peaks will occur on this line for example this particular peak will have the tilting and damping equal drifting this way CP smaller than drifting and the axle is taken up once again on this particular line we have drifting becoming equal to control precision tilting is upwards because you are on the east and damping precision is downwards because it will take the axle towards the horizontal eventually what happens is the axle comes and settles at this point this point is outside the meridian this point is slightly above the horizontal we are talking about the trace in northern hemisphere uh, we are looking at the trace of north axle in northern hemisphere right so I will blow up this point right this point is the point of settlement and at this point the two forces which become equal two forces which become equal are drifting and control precision also we have rate of tilting becoming equal to damping this is a settling point 
So uh, a gyro that is dammed in tilt in northern hemisphere will settle slightly to the east of meridian. So damping error is eastwards and slightly above the horizontal. This north axle will settle slightly below the horizontal and slightly to the west of meridian. So damping error for southern hemisphere is westerly. So you have seen this is the path traced by north axle of a gyro that is dammed in tilt. Uh, we are looking at a north latitude. We have started from this point which is horizontal and in meridian and we have seen that all the east-west peaks are occurring on the same level as uh, major axis of the ellipse and all the north-south peaks are occurring on the east side only and at north-south peaks which are occurring we have the vertical forces that is rate of tilting and rate of damping becoming equal. Final settlement is also on this axis, the previous major axis of the ellipse and on this settling point we have damping precision equal to rate of tilting, drifting equal to control precision.